TLDR. Buy two sticks of RAM. Right, let's find out who we got there. Hello there. Quick response to a video Lance made a couple of days ago about the Athlon 3000G and gaming potential use wise. He made a lovely video, but I saw a lot of comments on YouTube and Facebook saying, lovely cheap chip, then architecture, we know it loves lots of RAM bandwidth, and he ran it on a single stick of RAM. So, been over to the forest, picked up a dual channel set of RAM. Still 8 gig, thought I'd chuck it together, see if, if we were alright, or if he'd done it for us and not bothered because it was garbage. Okay, time for a build. Okay, here we are. Asus Prime B450MK and our Athlon 3000G. We have a little triangle on these. Next, Viper Gaming 2x4 gig, 3200 megahertz. Oh, we can get a gaming sticker. Yeah, that's not happening. Oh, that's cute. Bear with me. There's no inserted peg. They have this lovely little. That will focus. Little plastic push through peg. How marvellous. So we're up there. So. That's what a plug should look like. Not that. I might look to Tom Scott's video about these are the best plugs in the world. Right, let's get it fired up. Right, results time. Unigene Heaven 720p medium settings. Running top to bottom, we've got stock CPU and GPU with slow single channel RAM. Moving up step by step to an overclocked CPU and GPU, running fast RAM and dual channel. As you can see, the jump from single to dual channel, regardless of memory speed, produces a noticeable boost to the results. Even working with cheap 2400MHz RAM, moving to dual channel gives us a 46% improvement in 3 Mark score. Using the faster 3200MHz RAM and jumping to dual channel only provides a 27% gain, as the CPU already had more memory bandwidth from the increased stock memory speed. Once we've overclocked the CPU and GPU, the improvement for using the dual channel 2400MHz memory in comparison to single channel is an impressive 51%, and at the top end, with the CPU and GPU overclocked, going from single to dual channel with 3200MHz RAM with a 38% increase in score. If you choose a lower end A320 motherboard without any overclocking options, going from 2400MHz to 3200MHz RAM will show a 23% improvement using a single stick of memory which could help if you're intending to upgrade your machine later, but your motherboard only has two memory slots. Moving on to 3D Mark Night Raid. No time for results on this one, it's an APU. As before, going from single channel to dual channel shows a noticeable improvement. Stock clocks and 2400MHz RAM show an 18% uplift. Using the faster 3200MHz RAM in dual channel will give you an 11% improvement. If you're already on a tight budget and you've gone for an A320 board and your funds will only stretch to a single stick of RAM, going for 3200MHz over 2400MHz will give you a 10% gain. Once you overclock the Athlon 3000G, the importance of memory bandwidth becomes even more obvious. There's an improvement of 21% moving the 2400MHz memory to dual channel, but if you were to swap that out for 3200MHz, 
It's only an additional 4% gain. Is the additional cost of 3200 megahertz RAM really worth the expenditure? Unless you're going to go full PCMR, then RGB, obviously. To put the performance of the Vega 3 graphics into perspective, these are the same Night Raid results, but with a guest appearance by the GTX 1650 Super. Yes, the results are much more impressive, but the 1650 Super is over three times the price of the Athlon 3000G. It's not really a card you'd jump at if you were building a super budget game machine. If you were going to pick up a discrete graphics card for a build of this price range, you're more likely to grab an RX 480 or a 570. So to that end, I've included the results of a 488 gig. Again, no surprises to see, dual channel memory gives the best performance. It's hard to insist on the higher speed RAM as the scores have very little variance once you've taken the load off the built-in GPU. The next test was CSGO, again at 720p, using the FPS benchmark map. These results were the biggest improvements I found throughout the benchmarking. As before, there's a noticeable improvement in average frame rates when using dual channel memory, ranging from an improvement of 54% all the way up to a boost of 80%. And again, with dual channel 2400 MHz RAM providing a better frame rate than a single stick of 3200. And finally, something more purely CPU based, Cinebench R20. It only showed slight improvements when increasing the RAM speed. We reran the test several times and the results were repeatable. The only way to improve the score consistently was to overclock the CPU. Also, Cinebench R20 on a 4 thread CPU it's a great excuse to stop for a coffee. Or 12. I used the Ada64 memory bandwidth benchmark, and we can see that doubling the channels between the CPU and the RAM obviously doubles the available bandwidth. But as you saw with the earlier gaming results, it doesn't double our overall performance. The processing capability of the CPU is still a limiting factor. So looking back on the results, get two sticks of RAM. That's the important part. Regardless of speed, if you can get faster RAM for the same price, grab it. Sales always come around. But if you can only find 2400 or 2666 megahertz RAM, go for it as long as you get in two sticks. Dual channel is the key on this. I've looked on Amazon and you can pick up two 4 gig sticks of 2666 for $40. Or a single 8 gig stick for $38. That's not a saving. That's throwing performance away for two bucks. If you're in the UK, I found it was deal of the day, admittedly, a 2x4 gig kit for $26.99 or a single 8 gig stick for $29.99. That's definitely not an economy. If you're stuck and can't stretch that extra couple of bucks for a dual channel set, you can't find a deal anywhere, wait. Don't build. Put up with reading on your phone for another month. If you get a single channel set up, you know that you're missing out. You're throwing away performance. Hold on if you can. Or if you're absolutely tapped out, buy a single stick of 4 gig. Windows 10 will run on 4 gig quite happily. You won't be playing any games, but it'll work. And then in a month, in two months, by the other 4 gig stick. Be aware if you mix different capacity sticks of memory. For example, you buy a 4 gig stick right now so you can get the system built, and a few weeks later you buy an 8 gig stick, and you use the onboard Vega 3 graphics, you'll suffer quite a performance hit. You will have dual tunnel memory access, and the memory read write speed will be correct, but the APU won't be able to utilize it correctly. In testing, I lost just over 30% of the Unigine Heaven score, and the maximum frame rate at 720p dropped from 60 to 42. I tested it with a discrete graphics card, and the scores were unaffected by mismatched memory sticks. Yes, I'm rambling, but hopefully some of this information will stick in the mind of the person who's poring over Amazon in a month's time, wondering what RAM to buy, and this will save them some hassle. I've got an X399 triple headed gaming machine on the way, so if that sort of thing interests you, feel free to click the subscribe button. See you soon.